Hello. Thanks for the replay viewer. Today is a little bit earlier because Friday night is always hard to scope around like 7 or 8 p.m. So I decided to do a little earlier because <laughs> I haven't done English channel scope only Monday, I think, since Monday. I was doing Japanese scope almost every day. But uh, night time, I had an event last night and Wednesday and Tuesday. It was not easy. Hello, Trudy. How are you? How's your blogging going? <laughs> Hello, sorry. Oh, I, you know, it's been a little while. I did Monday night, then couldn't do it. Good. I've been attending like lots of meetings at night, like workshop and meeting. So and tonight, you know, I normally expected call from Japan. Rowing is going slow, but I saw a lot of posting, like a tweeting about, you know, that's nice. So did you <laughs> see that my tweet about Koi-san's eye, one of eye fell? Oh, hi, Maika-san. Thank you so much for sharing and joining and inviting people. I always appreciate it. You are always helpful. Like other, our super fan for me, <laughs> my super fan. So I had to fix Koi-san's eye because one of them fell off. Oh, thanks for sharing. So, <laughs> this is the 11th topic I was doing, like how you can deliver the message after you create a story video. Writer's block? Mm. I see, the <laughs> writer's block. Like a mental block. Writing is hard because sometimes, if you know, I know ha what you mean. Sometimes so energetic and writing everything is so easily and quickly, but all of a sudden you feel like, oh, what should I write? You know, what's the story? You know, whenever you write something, oh, that's not fun or that's boring, you know, you started like, oh, maybe I take a break. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's why, you know, I do scope maybe because then scoping something, the being outside and talking to like people from all over the world and get kind of uh, inspired and watching scope is same thing like inspiring some other new story. Because some of the story get triggered, you know, it's like if you watching some of the um, like a scope from England or a scope from New Zealand, then someone talking about totally different type of topic you never talked about, then you kind of get idea, what are you going to write? That's good. Yeah, so you took a break, <laughs> then do something fun. Yeah, that's right. Hope I can give you some motivation. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Welcome. Sounds like, looks like a Japanese name, Masao-san. <laughs> Welcome. So this is the 11th topic. And so I was sharing how you can upload because, yeah, creative, that's right. Creative writing is so tough sometimes you need a lot of imagination and you need to experience a lot of things to describe like a kind of like a story sometimes you have to exaggerate it <laughs> or make something fun hi Pikachu-san I normally can not do the scope Friday night because I have a you know a phone call or so the event or something, so that I decided to do a little earlier. I'm glad you do. 
Have a good morning. <laughs> Not a good mo morning, right? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> are you out of this planet? I hope you have a Wi-Fi. <laughs> so now it's quiet and because raining outside. New York is not, sp you know, spring has not come yet. It's like kind of chilly. <laughs> outside is not that cold. The reason, you know, if outside is kind of decent temperature and the heater is stopped. So inside of the room, sometimes get chilly, feel cold. Um, okay, right. I don't know the word, dre 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 So um, after you finish the story video, that's the uh, your message contained in your story video, then you can you wanted to deliver your message. You can upload the video, Twitter or Facebook and Instagram, but that's only the one time shot. But if you uploading for video server website, it's like a YouTube. Oh, I see. Thank you so much for explaining. <laughs> okay. That's the, uh, okay. Right, it's not rain. Oh, okay. I was scoping the uh, on 18th U.S. president's birthday, but he's, you know, that's 18th president, so he died when? 150 years ago? That was 196th birthday for him. That was very interesting because the place is called the General Grant um, Memorial. What, what do you call it? <laughs> That his tomb is the uh, biggest, you know, tomb on the in U.S. history, I think. Right. Have you ever been here? <laughs> hundred twenty. What was it? Hundred twenty second, twenty first. I c I still can imagine that people c can build that kind of huge tomb on. 150 years ago. Still huge compared to other building over here. But 150 years ago, they built and it was still beautiful. This is a f that was the first time for me to get in inside. I always scoping from outside. So far from, <laughs> I know what you mean. I, I, when I lived in Queens, I thought, you know, I never be go to 125th, never be go up to the 100th hundred, hundred street. <laughs> I felt something. But since live around here, it's like, it's not that bad. Only 20 minutes to get Times Square. Two hours? Okay. Only this area don't call Harlem, you know that? <laughs> A special name for that, like Morningside Heights. Yeah, please. But I don't, I won't suggest it to come to a weekend because a lot of tourists and it's so crowded. <laughs> but at that place, Tone is closed on Monday, Tuesday, so you know, you can come Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, that's right, you can post the Instagram. Instagram stories, but Instagram story is only um, showing 24 hours, right? It's gonna disappear like a snap, Snapchat. Because I create a story, but I don't find it anymore. I spend so much time to create it, like uh, adding 24 pictures, then typing text, but it's gone now. Oh, really? But it's gone, right? I can't save it anymore. What is the highlights? Highlights, there's a co section called highlights. 
making story was so hard for me because I didn't know I have to use a two finger to pull the area to uploading photo on my page. Yeah, I see the circle. But those are someone else's live streaming or story, no? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'll check. Thank you so much. I know I'm really good at technology, but Instagram, that's not for me. <laughs> oh, okay, the current video. Okay, because I, I use laptop to posting Facebook or Twitter. Instagram is the only things we have to do the app can access from the P PC unless using some sort of like a plugged in or software. Okay, highlight. Maybe I have to watch this replay to do that because I, I sort of understand, but I'm not sure I fully understand. <laughs> Insta story. Okay. You guys are so good at Instagram. <laughs> so Instagram is the only social media and you don't have to post every day or every second because Twitter sometimes people posting a lot of stuff like every five minutes or every hour couple lots of you know not only one post per day but Instagram and people always finding your post using hashtag because they most of the people using so many hashtags to be discovered okay thanks Instagram is kind of like a different type of social media I would say even though the hashtag is started from Twitter but the Twitter hashtag and the Instagram hashtag is a little it's same um, like a functionally is same but a meaning would be a little different or maybe I could say usage is different. So I was talking about how you can deliver your mess story video as a message. Yeah, I think so. Different language. Yeah, that, that's the easy, easiest way to dis describe it. Intimidating, <laughs> right. Because it's kind of like a Instagram has an Instagram like language, Instagram world to do it in, it, you know, their policy or mission is not to access to the, any laptop because probably they wanted to create the world only the app user world. Some of the country and the people who using only smartphone and don't cannot access to the laptop because they can, they're not able to you know, on their laptop and so that case they can reach so many people like worldwide. Definitely younger generation. <laughs> because I don't sleep with smartphone. <laughs> That's right. That's why so many people like it. Because when I attend the, I, the, the technology or startup event or something, and the one guy and explained to me he was in you know, Africa. It's like a very suburb, suburb Africa. It's like a, not so many electric out there. But the little kids was selling something created by his mother, like handmade stuff and he was selling on the street. Then the American guy and you know wanted to buy from him because he wanted to support 
the guy, that little boy in Africa. Then he said, thank you so much. And next time you want to buy from me and email me <laughs> or text me. <laughs> then he was like very shocked. <laughs> You're on the street, but you, you know, told me to email you. Then how you can access your email? <laughs> then he said, I have a smartphone. <laughs> That was so cute. So that case, you know, the smartphone <laughs> can add many people on smartphone even though they can on laptop. That was a cute story and uh, that was very surprising and interesting story to learn uh, as a technology kind of, um, how what, what should I put in the word? Yeah, interesting because they don't have, there, you know, his house doesn't have electricity, but uh, he has Wi-Fi. I mean, like public Wi-Fi, I think. Wi-Fi is m beyond like, diff like a regular technology. That was very interesting story. So, um, the you okay? Let's talked about the uh, video server channel and YouTube is definitely the top of the top um, video community site. Uh, the number is 1.56 billion user using YouTube. That's a huge number. 65 times of Amazon user. Amazon video user is 28 million at this as of last year the daily motion was how many was 57 million so daily motion i i was research about the where the the daily motion came from and because now is it showing bbc channel or news i thought it's like you the company from uk but the uh, daily motion is from france paris but now in united states as well so because of the YouTube partnership world changed in February, we were upset too. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's happening sometimes, then we decided to not create the Snow Sugar app. You didn't know that? Now you need to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours view every month. Otherwise, you can monetize. Monetize you cannot make money at all <laughs> so we lost ourselves like a monetization we don't make any money in even though people constantly watching snow sugar video story uh, snow sugar videos that's not good right <laughs> so amazon that's why i'm doing this and amazon video direct and daily motion you still money even though you have only a few people watching your video anyway YouTube money to money money <laughs> like a, oh, how can I say that it's maybe I picked a different way to say that. even though earning money on YouTube is the lowest so YouTube's like earning number is always mysterious no one knows how much money you're making or who's making. It's kind of like a covered in a veil as no one knows. But some I found this information and some the some of the blogger he did like a lot of research. So he said average per thousand views for any given YouTuber would be around one fifty to three. But this is average. I think it sounds really high to me because we have a 14 right now 15,000 views but we made only little money it's like one cup of Starbucks <laughs> a monthly I think so that's the you so that's why you know I assumed most of the people moving to the different channel or uploading the same video to the different channel as well because youtube is still have a large users and large viewers to like watching video 
Yeah, it's hard. Even like af affiliate income is not so easy. Affiliate marketing. Majority of the people is like suffering the affiliate marketing. Only 20% or maybe less than 20% is making so much money. So Amazon video and the daily motion is so easy it, to how much money you could make. So I really like that. <laughs> but even Amazon video changed the role and this March, they cut in half. Right. So they can control everything because they, that's what they do. <laughs> So Amazon video monetized is last year was the um, 36 cents per hour now is 15 cents that's so little but the good thing is Amazon video you can set the price to each video YouTube you cannot set the price for the each video so that's the big difference between Amazon Video Direct and YouTube. Oh, then Daily Motion is a five dollars per thousand views, so it's much higher than YouTube. But when you deliver your message using smartphone. Uh, no, a story video, you may not need to monetize, you just wanted to deliver the message. But it's good to know um, to you know, earning some money to help your creation. Vimeo, you cannot make money. Vimeo is just like you have to pay for it to use their services. <laughs> They're just like offering for the server, like a nice looking, like a fancy people server, video server. You have to pay monthly fee, then, you know, just uploading your video. That's why there's no commercial. So most of the YouTuber has a pa Patreon website. We, we Snowshaker also has a Patreon and at the beginning of this Periscope, you know, my you know, co-founder and the intern was doing a lot of like a Patreon campaign using Periscope. You like, oh good. I'm glad I can, I'll give you the valuable contents. So, oh yeah, the pa Patreon, the pa Patreon is the membership site. It's like a, almost like a fan club, like a fan club for the video creator, not a video and a content creator, Ma basically like a digital and the game, game creator and the video creator, creator is a very popular people and a graphic designer or animation, a cartooner. The, very popular for the Patreon. They set up the website and asking, not ask, it used to be we called the crowdfunding, but now they call the membership site. But it looks like a fan, fan club because they set up the price, like a monthly membership fee, then different level, starting like $1 and $10 and $20, sometimes $1,000. <laughs> Then if they have, they are kind of set the goal, like if I have $3,000 a month and I can deliver three good quality video every month or something like that. That's really nice site though. But in February, we were talked about, you know, what should we do because YouTube is changed the partnership role and we have to rely on the Patreon. What if Patreon is changed the rule? <laughs> There's a lot of discussion in February. 
but a good thing is that there's a lot of choice to do that because maybe a couple of years Amazon did video did actually came out May 2016 so that means before the May 2016 there's no Amazon video and daily motion was I think 2011 or 12 so YouTube was kind of solo and YouTube the only place we can upload the video a Vimeo was there but Vimeo is like a different type of video server now we have uh, other choices that that's a good thing because please do not rely on only one thing yeah Amazon video is like a only prime member knows that Amazon video they try to compete like YouTube and uh, Netflix because Amazon Prime member can watch the video like unlimitedly if you are members. Oh, you're not Prime member? So that would be good and also if you're a blogger and maybe you can create the story video some of your you know, store or, you know, New York scene or travel video, then uploading on the YouTube, no, uh, not YouTube and Amazon. Did I? Maybe I'll let you know because I started to uploading, but I need to, I'm, I'm just waiting for the approve, approval from Amazon because they are approving each video. There's a more regulation like rules. I have to have a certain size of the image and the title in the image and the length and the quality and what else? Uh, close the caption. <laughs> yeah, I will. So I have to set up the channel. Daily motion I just set up this morning, but uh, I haven't added the picture yet because I couldn't find it where I should upload it. Okay, this is the two word in Japanese and English. One is content creator. I asked Japanese viewer, how do you say content creator besides just using English word? Um, one of them say, Joho, Joho, what did she say? But when she say the Joho Teikyo sounds like a, like a different type of meaning to me. Content creator more like kind of digital, like a techist or blog and email, that kind of content. But it, when you say Joho in Japanese, Joho is like everything, it's like information. It doesn't sound like a content to me. <laughs> so probably basically they use the content, content creator. But after I did the scope, I did a little research. <coughs> they said content owner. It's a content owner. Probably they use a creator for the artist. I think over here as well. That's why they decided to use con instead of content creator is content owner. But when we say content owner, it like sounds a little different to me. Language is so difficult. The second one is get out of from your comfort zone because I was talking about how you can change and you know if you're afraid afraid of change yeah content owner is like a confusing that's what I thought but I didn't say that because that was Japanese scope um, because I don't want to <laughs> offend anyone <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, but uh, my in my opinion, like uh, I want them to create some like a Japanese new word instead of using English term of the word because they you if they make the new word using English, it's so confusing. So if they're going, if they're making some new word, I hoping they use the Japanese word instead of English. Yeah, it is, don't you think? It's not confusing <laughs> to you. <laughs> is it easier for you to memorize? No, when they're using content creator, create cre content creator, that's fine because almost the same. But they kind of make a new word, content owner, that's confusing, don't you think? <laughs> it's like uh, maybe because we don't call Nintendo the machine itself because Nintendo is the company name but the Japanese uh, word is supercomputer do you know that right? <laughs> supercomputer super, super Famicom because originally the Nintendo the name of the product in Japan is Famicom because family computer sounds weird don't you think? family computer. Then when they make their bigger size and new family computer, they say Super Famicom. So that means Super Family Computer. But if they are trying to use the word to describe in United States, but I think the company, they refuse to, or maybe they disagree to use the word, that's why they use the Nintendo instead of Famicom. But it Jap among the Japanese people, they feel weird because most of, most of the American call the Nintendo itself the game system. But Nintendo is uh, the company name. It's like uh, when you're calling um, Walkman is up, like a Sony. <laughs> but those things happen because over here we don't call tissue, we always say, Do you have a Kleenex, right? And uh, can you do Derox? So that means com name of the product. That happened. Because now people using, oh, you're going to do Airbnb? <laughs> so that means you're not going to stay hotel, so you do, you know, some renting house through Airbnb. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So that's okay. Panasonic is like a different story, but it's kind of, you know. There's an old story. <laughs> That's right. If it's not popular, so when you describe something, people, nobody understand what you're talking about, right? <laughs> okay, second word is get out of from your, get out from your comfort zone. <laughs> because uh, the two days ago, and uh, one of the viewer, f Japanese viewers shared the really nice book about the called Who Moved My Cheese? Who Moved My Cheese? Do you know the book? Who Moved My Cheese? 
she originally shared in Japanese title, I was like, what is it? <laughs> Watashi no cheese wa doko? Watashi no cheese wa doko? Then she write in, in English title, Who Moved My Cheese? Then I found the animation, 16 minutes animation about who moved my cheese. That story is a kind of teaching people, not only the kids. Right. <laughs> Yeah, did you watch it? It was really good, a 16 minutes video. Sometimes, you know, the, uh, the human being called Ham and Hem, no, ha, what, what's his name? Ham and, I forgot, ha, Ho and Ha or something like that. Almost all the people experienced both. Like, I forgot his name, him. Him or Ha, him or her, I think. <laughs> I think almost all people experienced both. Then you, if you, it's like a growth mindset and a fixed mindset. That was interesting. But when you watch the animations, oh, I'm not gonna be him, but in real, you know, world, you sometimes being so, you know, stubborn and obsessed something and you couldn't release or you couldn't accept, like forgive your, forgive your mistake. But well, those things happen. So that's why I picked this word, get out of from your comfort zone. Because the guy, like a little guy who stuck with the first cheese station, he couldn't move and he couldn't even want to look for the new cheese because he wanted to stay in the comfort zone. Yeah, he was scared. He was scared, right? That's right. He was scared. He didn't want to take a risk. And he didn't think that there's another cheese station. A lot of reason. Most of them experience that way, you know, when you make a mistake, oh, maybe I, I don't want to do it. I think I might, you know, make a mistake again, or I'm going to fail again. I don't want to take any risk. I don't want to take any challenge. I <laughs> waited here for the cheese to come. Is, is that, he, did he say that? That was so funny, right? So it's like, oh, I'll wait for the chance will come. Do you think it's gonna happen? <laughs> I'll stay home. Maybe chance is gonna knock in my door <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> so the Japanese word right over here is like my word it's not directly translated hi sumu sekai sekai means sekai is world sumu is originally mean living so this word sumu sekai o kaeru means like you change the place to live but at this time the place meaning is not the uh, like actual like a location it's more like the kind of like a space. <laughs> That's okay. You're being a good student. So maybe you can physically change in the place to change your mindset. That would, that would be possible too. But if you can move to the different location, you can change the place you live inside of your mind. <laughs> That's nice. Being a good student, right? Sneak in and sneak out. Okay.
and I pick the quote is like this great things never came from comfort zone what do you think do you agree it's true yeah I think so I was like oh what well, this is perfect quote <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> is there a song around here? <laughs> yeah, go get the cheese. That's right. Growth is uncomfortable. That's right. So scary sometimes. But I get used to it. You know, just get out there and try something, get used to it. So not stay in your comfort zone. You're wearing sunglasses? Are you okay? <laughs> Can you see the chalkboard? That's right. Especially then when you get the new job and new environment, it's always scary because you don't know who's around there and what are you going to do first day. It's scary at the beginning. <laughs> I did already some <laughs> yellow one. <laughs> oh, you did it? Okay. I thought you're gonna be hit pitted because you're wearing sunglasses. Yellow, maybe it's not easy <laughs> to see. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm not that mean. <laughs> Did you throw the chalk back to me? <laughs> that is bad, student. <laughs> oh really? Okay, with the ruler? That would be so hard. Like it's it's really painful. Troublemaker, that's right. Are you gonna pick up my dog and walk? Okay, you can do that. <laughs> She's sleeping right now. So I haven't checked the weather this weekend. Hopefully it's good but uh, I see Sakura is like a little falling off because of the moisture and rain a little bit rain but hopefully I can scope some other flower I see the tulip is blooming and I was scoping something else yeah smell is good Smell is contagious. Oh, Saturday should it be pretty? Oh, nice. Oh, you're gonna go to Roosevelt Island? Oh, that's nice. Oh, I think this weekend is a Brooklyn Botanical Garden Sakura Festival. But that place is always that crowded, especially the Sakura. There's a cosplay and other. Japanese piece, right? Oh, it was last week? Oh, the, oh. really? <laughs> oh, that's nice, thank you. Nice to have a super fan to talk to. Oh, okay. It's not free. Yeah, because the botani botanical, $30 to get in. But it, it's always, always crowded, right? Okay, I'll do the regular at the Sakura, because botanical garden would be so far away from here, don't you think? <laughs> Roosevelt 
Really? Maybe I have to raise my voice. Hello. How are you? Because if, haven't, if I haven't speak in English, then my voices get lower because Japanese is low voice, not the higher voice. Oh, okay. S are you going to scope from the Roosevelt Island? That would be nice though. I don't sound like Japanese. Oh no. Pika. PlayStation. Oh, I, the, yeah, that's the thing, because the island sometimes don't have a good Wi-Fi. <laughs> yes, I am sound like me. You will miss the scope? Oh, you will gone all weekend. It's not the work, right? It's just like a... Relaxing, that's nice. Enjoy your weekend. You can always watch me play. Okay, it's almost six. You miss New York? Yeah, come anytime. But you have to do Airbnb, I think. <laughs> Hotel is extremely expensive. <laughs> yeah. Even Airbnb may be a little expensive, but uh, you can find a good place in company. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for staying till end. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, you're right. I won't name it, but I know what area. Yeah, party time. <laughs> Friday night. Let's fever. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mata ne.